Hey guys, in this video we are going to be talking about five things you need to know to really become a JavaScript developer. Stay tuned. All right guys, so let's get started. I'm going to be honest with you guys from the jump. I'm not going to be teaching you this five concepts. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pretty much give you like an overview and I want you guys to take your time after this video, right? Or whenever you can go in and do some research on all of this five different topics because this is how you are really going to be able to call yourself a JavaScript developer and you're going to be able to get that job whenever you go to whatever interview you go to. By the way, guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and show some love in the comments. I want to know, am I missing something here? Let me know what you guys think. All right. So we're going to start with number five huh? and this is going to be controversial. I'm talking about frameworks and the reason what I'm talking about frameworks is for one simple reason as a JavaScript developer, you should know why you should use a framework and when you should use a framework and when you shouldn't use a framework. People think that for every situation, you're just going to pull out react. You're just going to pull out Vue.js. You're just going to pull out angular and you guys forget that a lot of the things that you're trying to do with the frameworks, you could do it with just simple vanilla JavaScript. What does that mean? That means just JavaScript by itself, JavaScript, the programming language, and you don't need a framework for probably 80% of the things that you're using a framework for. So if you want to really become an experienced developer, you really want to know when to use it and when not to use it. So that's number five. Okay. That's one of the concepts. Number four, we're going to talk about async. So especially async functions, promises, things like that. Why and when you should use uh, promises and understand how they actually work. Do some research on promises because you're going to see this everywhere. All right. You're going to see this almost in every single framework that you're going to be using, especially the latest ones. Everybody's using promises and you should be able to use it on your own code. Definitely go ahead, do some research on this. All right, guys. So this is a very simple topic, but for everybody's, you know, you guys got to look into this. Okay. Number three, object oriented programming. Now, I know a lot of you guys come from Java, C++. Some of you guys have never even done this. Some of you guys have been using JavaScript, but don't even know how to use object oriented programming with JavaScript. You need to look into the prototype. Okay. You need to start looking into how does JavaScript do object oriented programming It's very important. Even if you use an older uh, library, like let's say for example jquery or whatever uh you know the newest framework that could be the teletubby framework that just popped up yesterday for you to understand how uh, those frameworks work or even any type of application works and you're not lost you need to understand how object oriented programming is done with javascript so take some time and look into that this is actually a, a very easy topic a lot of people I, I see them have trouble with uh oop in javascript but in reality is is actually pretty simple i feel like it's simpler than in other programming languages look into that all right take your time and, and definitely you know do your research on that number two is going to be ajax okay <laughs> Ajax guys, this is how you're going to be able to communicate with the database, right? With the back end. This is how you're going to be able to do post requests. You got to be able to pull data. You could even pull images. You could pull anything with Ajax. Okay. Uh, you know, JSON objects, your uh, XML, all this stuff. You're going to have to deal with Ajax. And if you don't know how to work with Ajax, right? It doesn't matter if you're using a third party library like Axios or, uh, you're using jQuery's um, Ajax uh, method, or you're using Angular's way of of dealing with with Ajax, right? It doesn't matter how you do it, but you need to understand how it works because you're not getting higher anywhere. I'm being honest. This is so crucial. Okay, this is so crucial for anybody that's planning to do JavaScript. This is extremely crucial. If you do not understand how to do GET requests, POST requests put patch you don't understand none of those things right with ajax you're in a really bad situation for a good example in a small little projects that you guys can do search for the pokemon api 
right? Search for the Pokemon API and just try to play around. I don't care if it's with jQuery. I don't care if it's with Axios. I don't care if you're using Fetch. I don't care if you're using XHR. I don't care what you use, all right? <laughs> but just connect to that API, pull some data, and play around with it. Get comfortable with Ajax and understand how that works, okay? And once again, coming back to what we just said, async functions promises all of that is part of this too because while you waiting for that request from that server you need to start you know playing around it and doing some things on the screen maybe put a little loading screen or something right so just get comfortable with ajax okay it's it's crucial guys you can you can't get higher if, if i see somebody be like well i've never really done anything with the apis like i could do a little landing page and i could do this and that but you know i never really work with a back end or i never uh try to pull any data bro you're not getting higher that's the truth number one and it's something that everybody should know right and you should be able to understand the dom okay this is <laughs> I don't know when it, we talk about the Dom. I feel like people look at the Dom like this, you know, this monster. You know, I see guys that are, you know, amazing programmers, right? They're amazing programmers. They could do their Java. They could do their C++. They could do phone applications. They could do all the stuff. But when it comes to the Dom, you know, the Dom takes over them. The Dom is like, nah, you a little, you a little dude out here. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you a noob, right? <laughs> it humbles you, okay? <laughs> Which is funny to me because it's like the Dom is so easy. I mean, I'm coming from somebody who's a web developer, right? Of course. But the Dom is so easy when you really understand HTML, CSS. That's how I look at it, right? If you understand HTML, CSS, you're going to be able to understand how to work with the Dom. And at the same time, uh, another thing that's super important is just, you know, manipulating the DOM. This is something that people forget. I mean, this is part of JavaScript. You know, some of you guys have been introduced to JavaScript through the back end, maybe some Node.js and this and that. But JavaScript was really created to manipulate what we see. OK, maybe some animations, maybe uh, removing, you know, putting in, appending, replacing, cloning, right? cloning elements, you know, things like that, right? That's what the JavaScript was really built for, right? So we can actually have interactivity with our web page, our websites. Okay, so if you don't understand how to do that, then I don't know if you can even call yourself a JavaScript developer. I see guys who uh, come in and, and into the game and they'd be like, man, yeah, I'm a Node.js developer, right? And, and the reason why they say that is because they can't do on the on the dom you'd be like hey man can you create me a little slider they're like um um, um, uh, um uh, can i go to stack overflow because they don't understand they never really put in that time right i feel like a lot of times guys who are quote-unquote programmers programmer right they look at uh the dom and they say ah, i'm not wasting my time with this and this this and that i, I want to do my little algorithms i want to do a uh, connecting to the database i want to do uh the logic this is the logic too right this is part of the logic of your website right you want to be able to uh be able to know how to do this if you don't know how to do this don't call yourself a javascript developer Okay, period. Okay, if you don't understand the DOM and you don't know how to manipulate the DOM, you cannot call yourself a JavaScript developer. Okay, so, all right, guys, I hope you guys like this top five, you know, little concepts, right, that I have here. We have frameworks, right, when to use it, when not to use it, uh, async, right, async functions, promises, etc. Okay, uh, object oriented programming, all right, then we have Ajax, and then, of course, we have at the end the dom okay so those five things are the things that you need to know for sure if you're going to be calling yourself a javascript developer or trying to apply to a javascript position okay javascript developer position so it's up to you how you want to do this but my advice is definitely do some simple google search right those five things javascript frameworks right when to use it when not to use it number four async functions right promises async or just search async javascript okay it's a lot of good blog posts that's going to help you out okay object oriented programming with javascript okay don't search oop and be like well i learned it with java 
Nah, bro, you got to learn it and understand how it works with JavaScript. Okay. Number two, Ajax, search that and, and do a little project some way to connect to a database and pull some data from there and just play around with it. Okay. And number one, the DOM, right? Try to build a slider. Try to do something that you can say, hey, I'm manipulating the DOM, right? And understand how it works. All right. So once you do that, then you're going to be set to go. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this type of content. Let me know. I try to make it super simple, uh, something that you guys can relate to and, and approachable. Okay. Um, at the same time, guys, by the way, if you guys want to check out my website, codingphase.com is up to you. Uh, pretty much I teach you JavaScript. I teach you HTML, CSS. I teach you Node.js, Python, Ruby. Uh, what else? Oh, my God. Crystal Lang. Svelte, React, um, Redux, everything is in there, bro. One simple price. <laughs> and right now you can start with $7, bro. That's more than pretty much, you know, any, any anybody that's doing it out here, right? With 7 bucks you start, right? And pretty much you get all of my courses, right? All of my programming courses. And at the same time, like, you're going to be able to get a job with this. A lot of people have been getting jobs from codingphase.com. So take advantage, right? This is a great way for you to get started. And if you're brand new and you're like, I don't even know if I want to become a developer, start for free, right? Start for free. Come to my website, start for free, build a simple website with me. And let me show you how easy it is to build a website. We do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and pretty much it's a damn easy website, right? I'll show you how easy it is, and I'll show you how I teach, right? So if you want to check it out, go to the description. I'm leaving a link below with a coupon code that gives you seven, um, seven dollars, right? Uh, thirteen dollars off the price, and at the same time, if like I said, if you're a brand new developer and you don't even know, like if you want to be doing this and or you feel like it's oh my god everybody's teaching it to me it's like so hard bro come check out the start for free click on start for free on my website and, and you'll be good okay i'll show you how to build a website very simple very easy and at the same time you will understand that holy shoot joe actually knows how to teach this thing and make it simple okay and that's what i do guys i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video leave a comment below let me know if you survive to the end if you are a survivor say i'm a survivor that's the new thing right we're gonna come in and we're gonna put in yo i'm a survivor we here all right guys i'll see you guys later peace